Hey everyone and welcome to The Daily Word. Really glad that you have joined me. And today we're going to go into the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 1. There Jesus says to us, Watch out, don't do your good deeds publicly to be admired by others, for you will lose the reward from your Father in heaven. So Jesus is teaching us, commanding us, to not draw attention to ourselves in doing good. He calls us to do good, and yet we're, we're meant to not dwell on ourselves to try to get the admiration for uh, ourselves. And this, this is not so much about making sure that we're never seen doing good, to only do good if, if we can do it where no one sees us. That's not, that's not really the, the point. The, the point is that, um, that we wouldn't embezzle glory from God, which we are tempted to do. As a matter of fact, Jesus says in chapter 516, we just read this not too long ago, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. So the, the so that, the to be, really matters. In this case, the, the deeds actually, in 516, the deeds actually shine out, right? They shine out for everyone to see and praise your heavenly Father. So the point of them is to draw attention to God, to give glory to God. Whereas in 61, the, the point is to be admired so that we are seen and people think well uh, of us. And so we, we don't uh, only do good when no one can see us. That's not, that's not really the point. We pay very close attention to our intentions, which of course God can see. What is the purpose for which I'm doing this? Even, even while we are doing good, we are, we are making sure to keep the focus where it needs to be. We are looking with gratitude to God God, thank you for the gift that it is to serve in Jesus' name, to have the privilege to be called by your name, to have the privilege to be able to do good in your name and to point to how good you are. We look, even while we're doing good, with gratitude to God. Not with an attitude that says, um, <laughs> you know, with, which honestly we're all tempted to, God, uh, I'm doing this good thing for you. Uh, isn't it awesome? Aren't I amazing? That sort of thing. Uh, we look with gratitude toward God. And in regards to other people, we take great intentionality to point to God. I remember uh, when we went on a, uh, a foreign mission trip not too long ago, uh, I, was, I was praying to God about what message to share with this woman that we uh, were able to build a little, a little house for and uh, how we would think about that. And... And as, as God led, uh, I just really felt like God was, was showing me, was, was speaking to me about the fact that she had been praying for a home for so long. And as a matter of fact, the church had been praying for her to, to have a house, for somehow uh, them to be able to help uh, her. And, and so all these folks were praying for her to have a house and just thought, what a... What a privilege I felt like God put on my heart to actually be God's answer to someone's prayer. And so it wasn't about what we were doing. Look at us doing this good. It was uh, she's been praying and God's responding. And we are, we are a part of God's response. God says yes. And it is, is going to be yes through you. And, and what a privilege that is. And I was able to share what great love God has for her, and that that's, that's ultimately why we came and why we would, we, why we would do this, this thing, make this effort, uh, put in this work. It was all because we believe that God wanted to answer her prayer. God wanted her to know His great love uh, for her. And so we don't hide. In fact, we do good deeds so that our Heavenly Father would get glory people would see how good he is. We live that out with great intentionality. What we find, and here's kind of the bottom line here, is in our, in our brokenness, we want to take God's place. We want to have the glory that belongs to God. We want to be recognized and admired 
that's, that's in our broken self. We want to glorify ourselves. But in our design, in our design, we are, we are made for reflected glory. We, we are meant to shine with the glory of God. And what we find is that even though there is that desire of our flesh, of our, our natural self, to be glorified, when we actually glorify God, it is so rich and so satisfying. It, it truly is a reward. It is a, an, an immense blessing to radiate, to reflect the glory of God because He is good and it is our highest honor to be an expression of that goodness. And may it be so for us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And friends, until we get a chance to speak again, I pray that God would bless you and that He would keep you.